Well hello, I'm going to start with a brief introduction. Uh, my name's Colin and I've been asked to do a, a review of this fantastic boat. Uh, before it goes to Crick, I've got the uh, permission of Ricky uh, from Finesse Boats and uh, from the owner to give you a tour. And uh, I've already had a look round, I'm very excited and there's lots to show you. Uh, so so let, let's get on with that. Now the idea behind the boat, I've actually had a narrow boat myself in the past and they're beautiful. And, but we'd always wanted extra space and we've looked at wide beams but we haven't always found those beautiful. And the idea of this boat is to change the world with that. As you can see it's got a bit of a look of a, a sun seeker, Ricky calls it a wide beam yacht. And uh, the idea is loads of internal room, I'll show you around the decks in a minute, uh, but these handrails go down, the covers go down, so you can still take it out uh, on the canal. I've been finding it hard to know. I said to Ricky, I'm not sure what my favourite bit of the boat is. Um, but one of the things is definitely at the back. And I'm pretty sure you won't have seen anything like this, because I certainly haven't. And this is with the stern down. And uh, you can see this huge deck space. It's just fantastic. And later on, we'll show you with the hydraulics how it comes up into play uh, when you want to sail the boat. I'll bring you down to the, uh, the driving position. This is the bit that most of the, uh, the guys would be interested in. I'll hop on the boat and the camera will come a little closer to see you. You can see we've got a, a cover all the way around. So at the moment it's just kind of like a bimini sunshade. If we were going through uh, bridges or canals, then of course the whole thing collapses. And if it was a windy, wet day, then the covers go round the boat and it becomes like a, an outside room with, uh, with covers. Uh, on the, uh, the driving position here, very high tech, it looks great. There's uh, a radio console with um, uh, the, um, what's it called, this uh, sort of traffic collision system. So if you're on the French canals, you'd see that. Uh, the main pa uh, displays for cameras, moving maps, the electrical system, the boat is all electric. And there's a little uh, power display here uh, for, for, uh, for engine monitoring and a brushless bow thruster up here, hydraulic steering of course and uh, the Morse control tucked on the, uh, on the side there. If you uh, bring the camera in, you'll see a, a fantastic little bit of branding with the, the leather console. All of this is made out of uh, polished corian, made specially uh, for the boat. Uh, let's go inside and have a, have a look round together. This is the fun bit, the cameraman ends up in the canal. And uh, we're going to head inside, keyless door entry. We'll show you the deck up in a minute. Wow. That's what I said when I came in the first time. I just can't believe the amount of space. Glazed panels up here in the roof with uh, uh, retractable blinds, just in case there's too much sun. Really amazing curved cupboards under the, uh, under the, the, the steps that go up the outside of the boat. Uh, come on in and have a look around. I want to stay for dinner, this looks great. Inside, there are so many features, it'll be hard to, to, to show them all, but when I first came in, I kind of got the idea of needing words that you'd find in a Bentley brochure, like luxury and uh, it's stunning, all those sorts of things. It is absolutely stunning. I, I look around at the quality of the, the cabinet making and the technology. It, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. C come on in. Um, so we've got, uh, I'll show you this later, a really cool feature with the, uh, the TV, Sonos surround throughout the boat. Uh, there's a kind of a zoom or a Teams camera built into that. Um, we'll come back to that to show you because there's a piano hidden inside. Lovely little features on the, uh, the radiators with the, with the chrome and the navy. Uh, I like this as well, see if I can work out how to use it. The retractable uh, extractor fan. I've had a little look round the galley already. Uh, a great induction hob and if I can remember where everything is, dual ovens, and uh, this one's a microwave, a warming drawer that acts as a slow cooker as well. And in this cupboard here, look, look at this. And the tray that slides out matches 
the Corian that Finesse made for the boat as well. So we've got our toaster and coffee machine tucked away in there. And while we're here, it allows me to show you these beautiful blinds they make for all these windows. You might have noticed outside, the windows are actually made by Finesse. Uh, double glazed, of course, tinted, even the curved windows. They make themselves and then have these blinds specially made to fit inside these beautiful uh, oak frames. Uh, loads of storage space. The cameraman can show you that as we go by. Let's see if I can remember where other things are. Washer dryer in here. And we're, of course, a kind of fridge freezer uh, down in there. That's pretty cool. Loads of storage space, which is great. Come on, come on down. We'll go to the front of the boat. Beautiful cabinets with, uh, oh, I just enjoyed it. That was all. Um, into the, the second bedroom down the corridor here. I'll let the cameraman uh, uh, have a look inside for you. So what you're seeing at the moment is with the double bed uh, out, that would, for day use, would actually uh, uh, retract, give a little bit more use. The owner uses it as an office and it uh, would be a bit hard for you to see from here, but actually there's a very cool slot underneath the desk where there's uh, a printer uh, built in into a void that goes into the kitchen. Again, loads and loads of space. You might have noticed when we were standing in the lounge, uh, the head height is eight feet. I'll just say it again in case you didn't catch it. I've never been on a boat with eight feet before. And up here in the roof, you also get uh, lots of cupboard space. I'll open one up here and see if we can see huge cupboard space. That actually goes over the kitchen galley and all the covers for the outside deck. Uh, go up in there. We'll come back in a minute and we'll show you uh, there's another bed up in the uh, up in the ceiling void and uh, we'll bring that down and show it to you in a, in a minute or two. Let, let's head back out. We'll go around into the um, into the corridor back to the to the bathroom and I think this may be one of my favorites. Not quite sure. Uh, come and have a, have a look inside. I'll, I'll stand outside. When I first saw this, I figured it was like you'd have in an apartment, not in a boat. And uh, so we've got uh, a dual um, shower head, uh, including a, a, a rain shower, of course, and uh, the, the, the boards and the, the, the shower tray. I love this feature is made from Corian by Finesse as well. They make all their own Corian. And look at this, completely self-supporting glass. There's nothing joining it, no doors, no dirty seals, uh, any, anything like that. And the, the cupboards behind you, there's a laundry bin and kind of underneath the, uh, the, ga uh, the, the sink there, uh, that's also made uh, by finesse with matching uh, Corian as, uh, as well. But I do think this is my favorite, come in here. Now this is the, uh, the owner's cabin, if you like, the master cabin. And there's lots to see in here. Full king size bed. In a moment, you'll you'll get to see the feature. A uh, a glass opening hatch. It's electric uh, through there. Huge huge cupboards. Lighting under the bed. Come on in and see see the headboard as well. I have to say, I think this is probably my favourite part of the boat. Is this beautiful beautiful bed? Of course, feature lighting uh, round it. The same gorgeous blinds. Do you know, I don't even know how they make this. This uh, fabric which curves round the bow of the boat, so it's, it's curved in several directions at the, uh, at, at the same time. I don't know if the cameraman can just squeeze round to see the bedside table, but you'll see one of the air conditioning outlets on the boat. So the boat's fully air conditioned. As you know, it's a full electric boat and uh, lots of solar, lots of batteries. So having air conditioning is no problem at all. And those little vents are actually diamond cut and I'm told then surrounded with handmade uh, Corian. Lovely little reading lights uh, around the bed, drawers underneath. What we're gonna do is come back down the boat and we'll show you a few of the things that have moved uh, whilst we've been uh, exploring the front. So, First off, here's the, the spare bed. 
And so the idea of that, the owner was particularly keen, not so much for a, a large family, but if two friends came, uh, then one can be upstairs, one can be downstairs. They don't have to uh, sleep together. Up above the bed, there's uh, places for powering your iPhone or your uh, phone chargers, uh, reading lights, all that sort of thing. As we come back out of the boat, uh, you'll see here the extractor has now gone. We've got the piano cabinet. Uh, we put a, uh, the owner puts a stool under there to, to play, and uh, and then when he's finished playing, it just folds away, which I can do. Folds away nice and easily, and then the electric motor takes the TV back to the uh, to the to the ground position, as it were, for watching from. Uh, this uh, comfortable looking uh, sofa. Now you remember me saying, have you ever seen height like this? The I stroked it. It's eight feet tall. And I used to always think boats were close down onto my head, but I've never seen space uh, like this. Lovely LED lighting around the, uh, the oak tracks. And uh, now as we come to the back, here's our keyless entry again. All the doors clink into place on the magnets, and that's the way to do indoor and outdoor dining, isn't it? Gosh, I'd love to sit here for dinner. And now you can see that the stern is up, and uh, come outside and check out the uh, the area seated. The owner normally has a table here, but we, we wanted you to see the deck. Uh, but what a great place for, for sitting and enjoying uh, sailing or an evening of uh, sunshine like, uh, like this evening. And uh, if you can, cameraman, as we come by, just have a little glance down. Uh, it's a flexi teak deck in teak and grey. But look at these beautiful features. A uh, diamond cut, just to, just to cover a, a, a drain vent. Fantastic. Come on up onto, the, uh, onto one of the walkways. Now, the handrail, really clever, just like the cover at the back will go down. The handrail collapses onto here when you're on a canal and you want to go under the bridges. And that's the really cool thing about being able to take a larger boat but still take it onto the inland waterways. As we come up you'll see the uh, solar panels, I'm trying to count them, I think it's 12, and uh, they're all split and controlled by uh, quad controllers, meaning that even if one panel is in the shade, the others will still work as efficiently as possible. So that was the glass down into the bedroom, but what an enormous front deck area. I think one of the best bits when I sailed the boat uh, with Ricky from, uh, from uh, Finesse Boats was you're, you're sailing in silence. And up here it's absolutely silent and a place to sit, we can put extra chairs out and uh, have a drink, lie down, lie in the sun. Uh, what, what's not to like? What's not to like? And if we come back the other way around the deck, you'll, you'll come round in a loop. 5G Wi-Fi aerial fitted to the boat. Again, handrail that would collapse. And as we come down onto the, uh, onto the main deck again, you get to see the, uh, the glazing area that is over the dining room table and back under the bimini shade we're just opening up uh, the engine bay for you to have a look at. Now for those who aren't interested in technical stuff you want to stay out on the front deck in the sunshine but for the rest of us uh, down here uh, there's a 30 kilowatt uh, dual electric motor uh, latch onto the word dual so it's a two-engined boat effectively dual motor boat run through a single uh, single propeller and uh, we've got the hydraulics for the stern there's a 13.5 uh, uh, kilowatt genset and we've got the uh, quad controllers uh, I think it's a 15 uh, kVA inverter uh, and the bit uh, down here with the, the central heating boilers, all the usual sort of things, and there's even space for the owner who has two electric bikes 
uh, that drop into a cradle and get charged whilst they're, uh, whilst they're on the boat. The motor there, made by uh, Finesse, uh, I would say probably the leading uh, maker in electrical boat and boat engines, and a balanced system so that the batteries, 50 kilowatt batteries, all of those things complement uh, complement each other. So as we come towards the uh, the end of our tour, I would say thanks very much for watching. I hope you're as excited seeing it as I was. I felt it was a real privilege to see this boat before it went down to Crick. And, uh, and, and our thanks, of course, to uh, Ricky and to Chris, uh, the leaders up here at Finesse Boats, for uh, giving us the privilege to look round this uh, elegant and, uh, and beautiful boat. Thank you.